If you'd like to support the Gemini Guitar channel, you can do so through the download store. See the link below the video in more information. Any support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody, it is Corey from Gemini Guitar, back for today for some metal rhythm. Okay, so uh, let's begin. So we're going to do bars one and two, and uh, to begin with we're going to play the open sixth string three times before playing the sixth fret, like this. You can add vibrato if you would like, I tend to do that just a little bit, just adds a bit of character. Notice that we're repeating the idea again and then finishing just with the two open strings. So we get. Basically going to do the same thing again in bar two, except we're going to end by sliding from the sixth fret to the twelfth fret like this. So we'll have a listen to bars one and two. So on a technical level or a theoretical level there, we are using the root note E, both octaves, either side, and then we've got the tritone in the middle. Which by the way is literally in the middle, intervallically, uh, so it's a three tone interval and uh, sits right in between those two root notes, which is really cool. So moving into bars three and four, so instead of just using single notes now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the low E, and then we're going to use the E in the higher octave on the seventh fret to get a droning effect. And then we're going to follow it up with the B flat power chord. And we're going to repeat that idea twice in the bar, then finish just with a droning E. So you'll note that you don't have to move anywhere with your hands because the middle finger is doing the E octave note. Okay, so into the fourth bar then we're just going to do the same thing except we're going to end with an F5 power chord in the first position. If you can, slide out from the B flat because that adds that cool slide out effect. Always reminds me of something like Celtic Frost, uh, Tom G. Warrior, great rhythm player. And uh, yeah, really cool ideas with power chords, Celtic Frost. Okay, so moving into the third quarter, we're going to add some dissonance because instead of the fifth, we're going to add in the minor six. So that just translates into the B note from the low E power chord, turning that B note or just moving it up a half step to C. And that's the sixth degree in the E minor scale. Major six is more of a bluesy sound. Minor six. So that will be just for the first fragment. So note there are three strums on that. B flat power chord, dampen. Now back to the normal E5 power chord. B flat power chord and then two on the low E power chord. So we get this. Now into the sixth bar, so we're going to stay on that low E power chord and then we're going to play the B flat power chord in the first position this time. So we get... And then from that point, what we do is just go into the uh, fourth position and then slide up and roughly around the twelfth fret. It's really more of a, just a transition to get to the next part of the idea. So yeah, it's not 
always going to be 12th fret, but somewhere around there will do. So let's have a listen to those two bars. And then for the last bit, that's probably my favorite bit. It's got a really interesting sort of sound. The rhythm's a little bit, uh, like I said before, jagged. Although it's not staccato or anything, so there's no resting and dampening and stuff, but it's got this really abrupt sort of sound to it. So uh, basically what we're doing here is a, I guess you'd loosely call it a pedal point because we're always returning to that low E string. And then we're just going to use the, uh, the scale tones around it. So first off we've got the open to 13th, open to 12, open to 10, open to 8, open to 6th before just finishing on the open string. So we get... Last bit's reasonably straightforward, just three strums on the low E power chord. Down, up, down. So it should sound like this. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed it. That is the end of the lesson for today. But until the next one, bye for now.